Hello people, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you all had a nice Christmas. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is a little unboxing on something what my family bought me for Christmas. Uh, I've been after one of these for a while. Uh, for this, my woodworking and my other hobby which is remote control cars. Um, I've been after a little compressor, but small enough to do the jobs what I need, but also small enough to fit in my small workspace. Um, I went to my local screw fix and bought the Stanley 5 piece 24 litre compressor. Uh, so we're just going to get on and do a little unboxing on that and we'll have a look and uh, put it together and see what it's like. Right, as you can see there, got it in the box still. Uh, it's a 1.5 horsepower motor, a 24 litre tank, you've got 8 bar maximum, uh, you don't put oil in this. And you get five accessories with it, which is a coiled air hose, uh, a blow gun, a high pressure spray gun, a tyre inflator, and the other thing what's in the box, it, if you look at the picture on the, on the box, uh, it looks like the bloke has uh, got it filled with some sort of liquid, spraying it off a car tyre. So I would have thought that's some sort of, uh, you could put grit in it and use it as sandblasting or something like that as well. So I'm just going to take it out the box, I'll put it on the other bench and uh, we'll put it together and have a look at it. Right then, as you can see, there's the contents of the box. You get the plastic air hose, which is a coiled air hose. You get two wheels. You get the blow gun. You get the tyre inflator. You get the spray gun, and this is also a spray gun for spraying liquids. Uh, I think you could put like kerosene and stuff like that in there for cleaning things. You get a certificate of conformity, which is telling you that the, the product's been pressure tested, the tank. You get a one year guarantee on the product. You get an instruction manual for owner's use and you get another instruction manual telling, telling you what the parts and the uh, accessories are for. The one thing I will note about this, and if Stanley are watching this, is the length of the uh, power cord. It's about one metre long, it is very very short, so unless you're putting it somewhere where you've got an extension cord or you're right next to a plug, you're going to struggle putting it in plugging it in at any length because it is only a metre long so we're just going to put it together now you're going to put the wheels on and put the little rubber vibration foot underneath it and then we'll fire it up and we'll see how long it takes to get to like 100 psi or something like that right so to put the wheels on you get this long bar you get two plastic clips and you get two plastic wheels. The bottom hole on the bracket is for putting that through. The axle for the wheels. And then the wheels just push on and then they're held on in place with a clip. While we've got it upside down, I'm going to put the little rubber foot on. Also underneath the compressor, I'll just zoom you in on that bit there. 
there's a pressure release valve which also drains the water off if it accumulates any water inside the tank so after each use open that valve and let it drain out right what we're going to do now we're going to do a, a time test to see how long it takes to get up to pressure uh, I haven't touched anything, any settings on it, this is how it come to me uh, I've just put the arrows in it and I've put the blower in it that's all I've done so I'm going to press the button on top of the machine and press the start on there and you can see how long it's going to take to get to pressure So as you can see, 2 minutes 10 seconds is to, to go from empty to full, which is 120 psi, which is just about 8 bar. So that's how long it took to get there. Right, so as you've seen there, it takes about 2 minutes and odd to get up to uh, full pressure. But uh, I'm quite pleased with that. It is a, a bit on the load side, and the um, power cord is a little bit on the short side, which I think that needs addressing. I do think it needs something like a two meter power cord on it. But uh, I mean, the accessories, the arrows, I don't think will last long with it being in the cold in my shed here. Uh, and obviously, cold makes plastic brittle, so I don't think that'll last long. So I'll probably upgrade that arrows eventually. But uh, like I say, it's only for. Uh, I'll probably end up getting a nail gun for working in the shed, and then uh, it's for blowing my remote control cars off when I've had them out and they're all dirty and full of mud. I can just blow them off and then clean them, and Bob's your uncle. But uh, yeah, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about the video, please leave them in the section down below. Uh, I'll try to answer everything the best I can, and. Uh, We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.